Hi everybody, Don the Mushroom Hunter here, and uh, even though I've been finding morels off and on here in Portage County for the last couple of weeks, finally starting to see some of the bigger yellow-gray morels. I'm calling them yellow-gray because the vast majority of these morels that, can, uh, that are gray to yellow in color are the same species. Uh, we have Morchella americana, which actually represents two different species that are identical, um, unless you uh, get to the DNA level. But they can start off gray and turn yellow as they mature. It's all based on environmental conditions. So it's either a maturity or possibly the weather. So you tend to find them in the yellow stage later in the season, um, which is why you never find sort of gray morels, at least here in Ohio, uh, late in the seasons because they are yellows that are uh, that are that have just gone to that stage um, now that I will say there have been a few uh, sort of undocumented cases of true gray morels found in Ohio um, however they look so different than uh, the, the the gray version of the yellow morel we have here so um, if you do think you're finding gray morels in quantity you're not they're all yellows. Uh, the other the other types of morels we have here are um, Marcella uh, angusticeps, which is the black morel. We have um, Marcella punk types or punk typees, however you want to say it. Uh, you can say it many different ways, but that's the half free morel. And then uh, Marcella diminutiva, which is the tulip morel. And those are the ones that don't get very large. They only get to be about a couple of inches tall. Anyway, um, I've already found some decent yellow morels like this around this giant apple tree behind me. The same apple tree, uh, I actually found the uh, Gyromicha corfi that I did a video about several weeks ago. Um, the morels are growing right under this. Again, this one's a little more yellow in color. Here's another one down here. It's slightly Ah, it's still yellowish, a little more gray. Um, notice how I also plucked it directly out of the ground. Um, if you actually want to uh, ensure that your mushroom patches will return every year, um, plucking them out of the ground is actually the best way to do it. Um, the mushrooms do not have roots. You're, you're slightly di disturbing the mycelium that's underground. Um, some of which is still kind of attached to the bottom of the morel here, and that causes them to send up more mushrooms upon subsequent fruitings. A lot of people say you have to cut or pinch them. You can, uh, it doesn't really help anything, and actually may uh, provide the opportunity for bacteria and other pathogens to uh, molds and things like that to, uh, to start to eat the stem butts, which could cause the the mycelium to actually have to send more energy to fight that stuff off so um, anyone who's ever cultivated mushrooms knows you never leave stem butts behind because um, it's uh, usually not very good news so anyway I generally pick these um, and then I cut off the dirty base because I don't want uh, dirty mushrooms to go in my basket you can see here that I've also found some some other uh, some other decent mushrooms today some oyster mushrooms which are um, generally out and about during morel season um, pheasant backs a polypore mushroom that's growing all over on stumps and logs this time of year and also a couple of uh, deer mushrooms pluteus mushrooms that are these are all gonna go into some kind of I don't know wild mushroom dish tonight anyway um, again these large morels the uh, you know, the larger yellows are really starting to come up now. Uh, the black morels, I haven't really found any in good shape in the last week or two. They're the earliest species, so they might be done in this area. I'm still checking the spots. But again, I'm looking around apple trees here, um, poplar uh, and uh, elm and ash, a couple of other species that morels associate with. So anyway, get out there. Again, these... Uh, these don't last long, so we only have a couple more weeks, if that, in the season for morels. Once it gets too warm, um, 
you know they're they're done for the season so actually this rain and these cooler temperatures we're having this week is actually going to be really good for morel season it will um, either prolong it or prevent it from uh, from ending too soon so get out there find some morels and if you don't find some morels look for oysters look for pheasant backs uh, look for chicken of the woods which isn't super prevalent in spring but definitely is out there uh, wine caps and uh, wood ears or lots of other edible mushrooms that you might you know you might have a good day with other mushrooms if you have a bad day looking for morels so happy hunting wow.